皆様おはようございます。Good morning, everybody. お待たせいたしました。えっと、今からオープニング、あえー、オープニングセッションを始めたいと思います。えー、よろしくお願いします。まず最初に、えー、と簡単な私の自己紹介ですが、えー、とパイコンエパック2023、えー、とザ,ザチョチェアをやっております、片寄セリーナと申します、えーと。ニックネームセリーナと申します。よろしくお願いします。And quick introduction of ourselves. This is Selena. She's the chairperson of this year's PyCon APAC. And my name is Jonas. I'm from the PyCon JP Association and will provide English translation during the opening and closings. じゃあ始めていきます。OK。これこれ次次。え早速ですがえこれ持った方がいいかな。え続きましてえ今回のカンファレンスのスケジュールの。えー、と説明になります、えー、今回は、えー、Day1、Day2、スプリントデーという3日間ございまして、えー、昨日はチュートリアルデーがございましたそれを Day0 と呼んでおります、えー、今日27日は Day1 明日は Day2 で28日、えー、スプリントデー、えー、29日に行います、えー、ちょっと場所はちょっとスプリントデーは変更ありますが後ほど詳細で、えー、説明いたします And、uh, let us introduce、uh, the schedule of this year's conference. Yesterday we had the tutorials,、uh, and today and tomorrow are day one, day two of the main conference. And then on Sunday, the 29th, is the sprint day, which will be not in this venue, and we will explain that in more detail later. 続きまして、シェアコミュニケーション,コミュニケーションということで、えー、と皆様、この参加している方、それぞれが、えー、コミュニケーションしたり、えー、と外部に発信していただきたいなと思っておりますその際は、えー、SNS ですねソーシャルアカウントとかソーシャルネットワークとかでこちらの、えー、とハッシュタグパイコン a p a c を使って発信していただけると、えー、こちらが運営側も拾いやすいのでぜひ発信をお願いしますあと、えー、写真等もし、えー、と写真等の案内もありますが、えー、写真撮る際の案内ですねありますが一点お気を付けいただきたい点はありますがぜひいっぱい発信していただきたいなと思いますでその次にスラックがありまして皆様が交流できる場も準備しております、えー、パイコン JP フェロースラックがありますそちらはこちらの QR コードから、えーえー、入ることができますので、えー、こちらスキャンしてお入りくださいえっと、後ほど公式ツイッターでもこちらの入るための URL を公式ツイッターより発信いたしますのでそちらもご確認ください。And yeah,、uh, for communication on social networks, etc.,、uh, please use the hashtag PyConAPAC. And we also prepared a Slack、uh, that anybody can join.、Uh, you can join from that QR code, which we will also post on social media later,、uh, the URL to that、uh, Slack invite. And if you do join that Slack, please use the channels APAC 2023 and or English. はい、続きまして、そのハッシュタグの、えー、詳細ですね。えー、とこちらが<笑>パイコン APAC の、えー、トラック1の場所となっておりますので、トラック1の、えー、トークを聞いている場合には、えー、こちらに書いてあります、一般で、えー、全体の、えー、と APAC を表すパイシャープパイコン APAC。でこの場所でしたら、パイコン、a p a c アンダーバー1、あとは部屋,部屋ごとで、えー、と確認して発信していただけるとそれ、それぞれの部屋ごとで発信をこうそれぞれ、えー、と外で見る、外というか、えー、ソーシャルメディアとかで見れるので、ぜひこちらをご活用ください。えー、と間違いがありました。すみません。後ほど、えっ、ー、と、えっ、ー、と、えっ、ーと,えー、とですね、へ部屋、えーと、イースト1、イースト2、イースト3はちょっと見なかったことにしていただいて、えー、すみません、トラック、<笑>えっと、えっ、ー、とですね、こちら、皆さん持ってますよね、こちら。はい。こちら、皆さんあの、このパンフレットありますので、例えばこの部屋にいるときには、まあ、あのこちらちょっと見ないでいただいてこのえとパンフレットを見ていただいて自分は今この部屋にいるからあこのハッシュタグ使えばいいんだなって思って発信していただけると間違いがないかなと思いますのであのちょっとこのスライドと次に言うあの間違いあのこちらのパンフレットを見てハッシュタグを活用してください。
Uh, yeah, please ignore this slide. It's wrong. Uh, the system is much easier. The room you're in, you tweet about that room or you share it on other social media, you use the hashtag of the room. And if you want to talk about general stuff at PyCon APAC, use the general one. Ignore this slide. Uh, whoever had slide five on their bingo card for the first mistake, you win. あ、あ、かえ、こちらは合ってますね。こっちも間違ってたらどうしようと思います。えっと、こちらの演題の前にありますので、こちらを確認してハッシュタグご利用ください。続きましてスポンサーさんにかえ、の説明あの、ご案内
パトロン支援いただきましてありがとうございます。こちらも、えー、といろいろと、えーえー、トラベルグラントと、えー、しあの補助金とかそういうもので活用させていただいております。ありがとうございます。And yeah, we would also like to thank very much our patrons. These are individuals, not companies, who decided to sponsor the event. And yeah,、uh, they also helped、uh, us to again support a more stronger travel grant、uh, program this year. えー、真ん中中心部にパトロンポスターが一覧がありますのでぜひそちらもご確認ください以上、えー、スポンサーさん協賛いただいた方たちの紹介となります以上ですたくさんの、えー、スポンサー、えー、とパトロンの皆様の、えー、とご協力のもとうちら運営ができていますありがとうございます And again, thank you to all our sponsors and patrons this year. はい、続きまして、えー、と重要なご説明に入ります。えー、こちら、会場の運営と,、えー、と行動とかあ、活動とかのお話になっていきます。And next, a few important bits of information. はい、続きまして、えー、とスライドはすべ、まあ、て英語なんですが、えー、説明、日本語で説明してまいります。えー、コード・オブ・コンダクトとなりまして日本語で言いますとコード規範となります、えー、と通常であれば通常の運営で問題ありませんが何かあった場合には、えー、とスタッフもしくは、えー、掲載のこちらでメールアドレスまで、えー、なんか心配事とかこの人ちょっとなんかもしくは不審な方がいるとか気になる方がいるこれ大丈夫かなっていうものがありましたらご自身で考えずネットインターネットでツイッター X とかで発信せずえっと、まずはこちらの運営側、もしくはメールにえっとご案内ください。詳細、こちらの URL ですね、COC の URL ページありますので、こちら、日本語もあります。で、そちら確認の上、えっと、ぜひ、心配事がありましたら、こちらまでご連絡ください。As I hope you are all aware, by attending PyCon APEC 2023, you are required to have read and follow our code of conduct.、Uh, this is so that、uh, this is a safe event that everybody can enjoy. If there is any trouble that you see that has happened either to you or to other people, please don't、uh, immediately share it in public. Instead, contact us so we can deal with it.、Uh, you can do that either by going to the staff headquarters in West 1 or by emailing coc at pycon.jp. Thank you. はい、続きまして、スタッフは誰かについてのご案内です。えー、と私もヨナスも来ております。こちらの紺色の T シャツが。えー、とスタッフ T シャツとなっていますで、こういうのだけだと分かりにくい場合は背中の後ろに、えー、とスタッフと名前があのか書いてますし書いてますので、えー、ご確認の上スタッフに、えー、とお話しくださいまで、えー、にちょっとスタッフの人数が増えて T シャツがちょっとあの、はい、足らなくなった場合にはこのように、えー、と板書を使ってスタッフだって分かるようにはすることも考えてますので一応基本的には T シャツを着ている方。でもしスタッフのワンショットをつけている方はその人もスタッフだなと思って、えー、ご話しください。And if you have any trouble or question, please do not hesitate to ask our staff.、Uh, the staff are most of us wearing these beautiful T-shirts that also say staff on the back. We also most have lanyards with the staff little ribbon on them. And some, some of us may not wear the T-shirts, but will instead wear the yellow、um, armband、uh, that indicates that they are staff. はい、続きまして、食べ物、えー、食事に関する飲み物に関するご案内です。えー、とこちらですね、トーク会場は基本的に、えー、食事はご遠慮いただいてますので、お控えください。飲み物に関しては、ペットボトル、こちら、この形で、蓋のあるもの飲み物とか、水筒とか、そちらは飲み、えー、お飲みいただいて大丈夫です。また、えーとそうですね、コーヒーブレイクとかその,その時間もありますので、えー、とそ,、えー、その20回44回ここですねと20回もありますので、えー、食べる場所飲,みも飲む場所もありますので活用くださいなおランチ時間中はこの場所もトーク会場も食事は OK となります、uh, regarding、uh, eating and drinking please do not eat in the talk rooms 
except during lunch. And please only use bottled, uh, please only drink from bottles that can be closed in the talk rooms. Uh, in other areas like the foyer or on the 20th floor, you can eat and drink at any time. And also on the 20th floor, there is a snack area and with refreshments. はい、if you do not wish to have your picture taken or sh and or shared online, please put a no photo tag uh, on your name card and our uh, photographers should respect that. Also, if you yourself are taking pictures uh, and especially if you plan to share them online, please do respect the no photos tag and ideally ask the people you've taken a picture on first before sharing it online. Thank you. え、こちらに書いてありますように、えっと、こちらにもパンフレットにも書いてありますね。え、こちらのえっと、SSID とパスワードでお入りください。えっと、上からのご協力のお願いなんですが、え、できる限り、ご自身でお持ちのモバイル
uh, you can go to the HQ, which is in West One, or next to HQ in West One, and exchange it for this super exclusive, this year only, uh, special towel. はい、続きましてランチのご案内です。えー、おべえっ、ー、と運営としてお弁当を美味しいお弁当を私は大好きなんですけれども、<笑>お弁当を用意していますので、ぜひ参加者全員えっ、ー、と対象ですのでお弁当を用意していますので、ぜひお時間になりましたら受け取って各部屋まあ各場所で、えー、お食事ください。またこちらはですねハラルお弁当あとビーガンお弁当も準備してますのでこちらご希望の方はまあ数はちょっと限定はされてますが希望の方はえっとそちらも準備してますのでそちら受け取ってお食事ください。And yeah, we have prepared bento boxes for lunch today.、Uh, that will be starting at around 12:20, and they will be handed out outside the talk rooms. And as a reminder, you can eat inside the talk rooms for lunch. And we also prepared halal and vegan options for those who prefer that. はい、続きましてコーヒーブレイクの案内です。えー、デイワン本日ですね、14時50分から15時30分行います。えー、コーヒー飲み物に関しては4回でご提供いたします。でこちらの写真にあります今回えっ、ー、と海外から参加されるということで日本の駄菓子を。えっと用意いたしました。こちらは二十回でえっとお配りしてますので、ぜひブレイクコーヒーブレイク時間中に二十回足をお運びください。And we have coffee break around 3 p.m. each day.、Uh, there will be coffee on the fourth and twentieth floor. However, the snacks are only available on the twentieth floor, and we prepared some nice、uh, variety of Japanese、uh, candy and snacks for everyone. はい、続きまして二十回会場のご案内です。今こちらね皆さんがいらっしゃるところはですね20あ4階となっておりますで今回のイベントは20階もですねエレベーターで上がっていくことができますえこちら20階も会場トラックえーブースがありますのでそちらのご案内いたしますそちらはトラック5がありますでポスターセッションアンカンファレンス会場え書籍販売の場所ドリンクおやつジョブボード、充電スペースを準備してますので、ぜひこちらもお立ち寄りください。And this year, unlike last year, we also have the 20th floor. So right now, you are on the fifth,、uh, fourth floor, and there's elevators that go to the 20th floor where track five is. And there's also poster session, open space, on conferences, a bookstore if you reach only if you can read Japanese books,、uh, refreshments and snacks,、uh, chalkboard, working space, and a charging space. So please also check out the 20th floor. 続きまして一般社団法人パイコン JP アソシエーションの公開運営会議のお知らせです。本日ランチタイム時間中にこちらが行われます。こちらは誰でも参加ができます。トピックに関しては活動報告、会計報告を行います。運営側の方から運営あの一般社団法人の方からはいろいろな議論をディスカッションしたいということですので、ぜひ皆様一般の方も参加できますので、足を運んで意見交換をしていきたいなと思いますので、こちらもぜひお立ち寄りください。And today during lunchtime on the 20th floor, we will have the PyCon JP Association meeting. The PyCon JP Association is the non-profit that helps organize this event. And、uh, unfortunately, this、uh, meeting will be primarily or almost exclusively in Japanese. Except for the activities and financial reports that we will give, we will have slides in English, although we will speak in Japanese. However, this is open for everyone, and we would welcome a lot of participants、uh, so, uh, to hear your opinions and、uh, yeah, to, for you to join the discussions. ライトニングトークの、えー、紹介です。ライトニングトークはこちらの場所、えー、トラック一ですね。トラック一で十七時からクロージング前に行います、えー。入りきれない場合は今もライブ配信はしているので、ライブ配信しながらこちらで行います。And today, tonight we will have lightning talks at 5 p.m. before closing. If you are going to give a lightning talk, please come to room one. And、uh, however, is, if since not everybody can fit into this room, the The lightning talks and the closing will also be broadcasted to all the other rooms. はい
、えー、続きましてオフィシャルパーティー公式パーティーのお知らせです、えー、公式パーティー、えー、運営として準備しておりますそちらは明日、えー、デイ2の終わり18時からこちらの、えー、建物内20階ですねこちらエレベーターで行きます、えー、20階会場で、えー、とオフィシャルパーティーを行います今回はなんとオリジナルビールを準備いたしましたのでぜひ、まあ、ビール飲めない方もいらっしゃると思うのでビールお好きな方はもうぜひこちら準備してますので、えー、とあとは参加者の交流ですねそれも目的としてますのでぜひ、えー、と参加お申し込みしている方はぜひ行っていただきたいこれから申し込みしたいという方は、えー、と別途申し込みが必要ですので、えー、と申し込みの上参加くださいご不明点はあのあのスタッフに聞いていただければ申し込みも方法をご案内いたします And tomorrow,、uh, after the... closing and all the events have finished we will have an official party on the 20th floor of this building、uh, an important notice、uh, you will require a special ticket for that You should still be able to get a ticket, and if you don't know how, please ask somebody from the staff. And very special this year, we have original、uh, only for PyCon APEC 2023 beer、uh, that you can enjoy. はい、続きまして、えー、とデベロッパースプリントですね、えー、公式あ、開発者コミュニティスプリントを今年も行います。えー、この開催日は、えー、日曜日、今月20日。10月29日日曜日10時から17時を予定しております。場所はここから変わりまして、渋谷にある変化株式会社さんで行われます。こちらは無料、参加無料ですが、申し込み必要ですので、申し込みの上、ご参加ください。And on Sunday we will have sprints、uh, from 10 to 5, and very importantly, these are not in this venue, they are in Shibuya at the Henge、uh, Tokyo offices.、Uh, They're completely free to attend, but please do register on Pretix、uh, for free. And that's so we can know how much lunch we have to order because there's free lunch. Opening slide is the same as 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 the s a m e s the same as the Uh, thank you everyone for your attention and enjoy PyCon APEC 2023. Let's enjoy PyCon APEC 2023. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm sorry for、uh, waiting you. I also wait、uh, at the,、uh, the waiting room. But nobody picked me up. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. And、uh, my name is Hajime Kita、uh, from the Institute of Liberal Arts and Science, Kyoto University. And、uh, it's a great honor to be,、uh, give a keynote talk. And、uh, my talk is uh, the, uh, Why University Teachers Wrote a Python Textbook. Uh, we uh, wrote a Python textbook in Kyoto University, for Kyoto University course, and、uh, we opened to it to the public, and so a bunch of the downloads occurred. So the organizer、uh, of the,、uh, this conference is interested in that. And、uh, today I talk about the background of our development of textbook.、Uh, first, Uh, inconvenient truth. A teacher of computer programming may not be a good、uh, programmer. <laughs> If I'm good at、uh, programming, I don't teach. <laughs> okay? So it's first、uh, self introduction. I、uh, received the、uh, BME and the D degree all from the Kyoto University. and.、Uh, In uh, 1987 to uh, 1997, I'm an、uh, associate assistant professor at the Faculty of Engineering. At that time, I studied、uh, the energy systems and the neural networks. At that time, neural networks was not called AI. And, uh, and then I、uh, moved to the,、uh, the Tokyo Institute of Technology and as an associate professor. And、uh, I studied the genetic algorithms. 
And uh, then the, uh, I take a job at uh, the professor of National Institution for Academic Degrees and the University of Variation. Quite a different job, but at the time we started the study of the artificial market. And now uh, it, uh, I'm studying the social simulation. And in 2003, I moved to move back to Kyoto University. But my job was academic center for computing and media studies, taking care of the infrastructure for teaching. And uh, then the, I moved to the inside the Kyoto University. I moved to the section of the Institute for Liberal Arts and the Sciences. Uh, it gives a general education mainly to the freshmen. And so I st started the study of education of informatics and programming. Uh, this is my uh, programming language experience. In 1978, I started uh, with uh, the Intel 8080 machine code, not assembler. <laughs> And uh, then I studied the basic with PC, Fortran for scientific study in, for using mainframe computer of the Kyoto University, and then C uh, uh, language for scientific study, also the, uh, with Unix workstations at that time. So we wrote the C language work, workbook uh, with uh, my friends. And then the, I started to use Java for development artificial market systems working on the over TCP IP. Uh, this is a recent uh, publication about uh, the, uh, this kind of uh, research. And also the, in the Kyoto University, I give the, uh, the, uh, the <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, course uh, treating the physical computing using Arduino. And uh, then, 2018, I started to uh, teach Python. So the why did we select Python? So the um, so many international uh, participants, uh, the general education and the special and major education uh, combination is a typical curriculum of Japanese university. And in 2016, Kyoto University renewed its general education program. At that time, I was the uh, vice director of this section. And it was so busy. <laughs> and uh, in 2017, we developed a textbook for ICT skill course. Uh, really, an entry course of ICT skill, teaching computer network, university library, and office tools, and a little bit of programming. At that time, we selected the Python for programming because it is easy to run by the novices. And also, the, in these days, we started to use Python so widely in the academic studies. So, next question is, why I teach? Uh, in 2080, we decided to start the Python programming, uh, mainly treat the Python programming course as an elective uh, course in the general education. Uh, several programming course was already held uh, in the uh, institute, uh, <coughs> Java, Lisp, Ruby, and so on. And the computer science teachers was already so busy in teaching these courses, and they asked me to teach, while my experience in Python was, at that time, quite few. Uh, so, in Japanese, binbokuji. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in 2018, uh, we started uh, the course using just uh, the slide as course material, and in 19, 2019, uh, we wrote the textbook, uh, 19 edition, and the uh, red colored edition was uh, open to the public. And uh, at that time, uh, the uh, registration was 66 students, and 36 was passed, quite, quite a low score. And uh, in 2020, uh, because of the coronavirus pandemic, uh, we forced to the, make the course fully online. So uh, I, I uh, don't limit the number of the, uh, the registrations, so 200 students gathered. 
and the 67 percent passed. And then we uh, extend the class to in, into two, and uh, we uh, revise our textbook, uh, major revision of our textbook to uh, 21 edition, and so on. So the uh, next topic is textbook teacher. When uh, in 2002, I visited Open University, United Kingdom. Uh, we interviewed the Dominic Newbold, uh, visitor and the community relation manager at the OU, and he said, OU has faculty members, but no teachers. So faculty members' responsibility is learning content, a variation of learning. The uh, presentation as a learning material is responsibility of editor. Then the university library, uh, their re responsibility is provision of information resource for learning online. And uh, the OU uh, have the system of tutor. So tutor's responsibility is encourage self-learning. So in the OU, uh, textbook is teacher. So it was amazing, quite systematic approach. And so next one is, it, we also need in the Japanese uh, regular courses. Maybe nobody knows, <laughs> a Japanese university to create the course have to have the uh, course content of 90 hours study. Do you know? <laughs> But uh, the class hours is usually the, uh, 30 hours. So remaining 60 hours, uh, university teachers have to ask students self-learning. Nobody knows. <laughs> and so, but uh, the, it is quite a big problem in computer programming uh, course because how to support self-learning is quite key issue. And so we wrote a textbook that support uh, self-learning. And uh, we, uh, in the classroom, we take the way of flipped classroom. I don't teach. We uh, interact with students because it's only time to, sh uh, only the opportunity to share time. So and then also I give quick feedback. Uh, for example, in grading of assignment with LMS, I ask in the class hours, I ask one or two assignments, and I graded uh, all, the, all the submission in one week. Up to the next week, we, we give feedback, uh, give, giving each submission, uh, giving comments to each submission. Uh, another uh, Hint is Seki model. Do you know Seki model? No? This is the knowledge creation model in the uh, management of company. So proposed by Nonaka and Takeuchi. And uh, Seki model is uh, the <coughs> uh, socialization and uh, extern uh, I'm sorry, externalization and the co combination and the internalization. So the knowledge uh, in the classroom, uh, people internalize the how say, knowledge about the programming and socialize, uh, discuss with students, discuss with instructors. This is a tacit knowledge. And then uh, we, I'm sorry, I misspelling, externalize as textbook. And if we externalize that as a textbook, we can combine many things. And then the student internalize, and the instructor also internalize the knowledge. So this circle is quite inter, uh, important. Uh, as the, uh, the Nonaka and Takeuchi uh, propose as a Seki model. So the next one is, why did we write the entirely new textbook. Uh, so as you know, there have been published so many Python textbook, good textbook, but uh, our goal is not Python. Our goal is programming. 
So the, and we also know the student well, better than the textbook curators. Uh, we know first year students, we know students, newcomers to our uh, research laboratory. And we know academic study as use case of programming. Uh, we wanted to give adequate content for self-learning. We want to support self-learning. And the, uh, the content has two usage. One is uh, explanation of course content. And another one is give hints to the student project. And we opened it because uh, you may uh, check the, our textbook uh, quite thick if you print and use so many color pages. And so text would be uh, expensive if we use publishers. And we want to save students' expenditure. We want to give it free for students. A uh, few, few university professors think this kind of thing. And also, we want to ask students to share with their friend. If you learn the Python, you want to share his, his or her experience with their friends. So we op make it open to it. And uh, what uh, happened after making the textbook open to the public? So my friends, uh, a researcher told us that uh, he needed the textbook of Python like uh, our C programming workbook. So we wrote a textbook and I uh, opened it to, to the public using the university repository, Kurenai, and told it to him. He tweeted it. And uh, as a consequence, up to the uh, September of this year, uh, total download is more than one million. This is uh, download. Uh, so the, in the beginning, uh, my friends tweet and get to, uh, the 100,000 download. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> And then the, we renewed uh, the, uh, <coughs> we uh, <coughs> make the 2021 edition open because another tweet uh, occurred. So we uh, uh, hurrying the open the next new version. And uh, now the 2023 edition is open to the public a few days before. And the course characteristic is we give two semester long, two credit elective course, two hours a week, and uh, 15 weeks. Learners is mostly the uh, course is open to the older uh, students of Kyoto University, so students from the uh, School of the Humanity and the Social Sciences come to the classroom. And most students are first year students and they have no or little experience in programming. Quite novice appears to the classroom. And also their experience, uh, first year student of the university, their experience with PC operating system, and uh, uh, CUI, like the, uh, how say, using of the terminal or a command prompt is quite poor. Because high school days, they use mostly the smartphone and a little bit tablet. So quite little experience they have about using the PC. And this is the course objective and the goals uh, listed in the share bus of the, our course. Uh, red part, in this course, uh, in this course aimed at the beginning, beginners, students will learn to the program using Python through various exercises. And goal is three. One is uh, how to use Python to execute the program. So actually, the, uh, he, he will see uh, can execute the program, <laughs> uh, quite simple things. And another one is uh, 
he knows the uh, fundamental components of Python programming, uh, students will be able to use uh, examples to put together their own programs. And the final one is important. Students will be able to design, implement, and test their own simple Python program. Not so long, but uh, they can uh, design, they can implement, and they can test. Another hint is AX model of the, uh, it is known in the instructional design field uh, by Keller. And John Keller already gone away, but he wrote an important book, Motivation, Motivational Design for Learning and Performance, Model of Learn Motivation. And uh, there are the two, four items. Recently, another one is added, but the attention, take the attention of learners, they make the learning relevant to the learners, make the confidence of learners, and make satisfaction for the learners. So our approach is introductory class and open textbook for attention, relevance, uh, connection to the learners' background, knowledge, for example, the mathematics in the high school days, and the graphical application to visualize one. And the confidence, uh, we ask weekly assignment grading within the week uh, with personal feedback comments. And satisfaction, we ask students three trial programming assignment with some freedom in topics. So this is a course plan, first week uh, introduction, of, uh, uh, introduction of the course and use of the IDE. And uh, uh, the second class, quite so many uh, content, variable assignment, sequential execution, control flow, in one, just in one week. Because so many times they will use. So in the second week, they just get the concept. Okay? The total graphic, we spent two years, two hour, uh, weeks, and the GUI with, and the class uh, in two weeks, and the rest and the file I.O. and the design, implement, and test with two, using two weeks, and the academic use, and the, we have reflection uh, class, and the spend two weeks for student project. But the, uh, in, in 2020, uh, the first column we use, a uh, second column, is a uh, course plan, but the 20, from 2021, we moved the list uh, more uh, earlier, and uh, the, we uh, insert the test of skill exercise class, and so on. So uh, I just, just said, and uh, this is assignment submission in the 2020. And uh, once we uh, give the class about using the title and the GUI, submission getting done. Because the, just uh, uh, the li lines of code is getting bigger <laughs> around this. So uh, we put list uh, a little bit earlier and uh, <coughs> the use control flow uh, one week separately. So uh, we delayed the geographical application later. And uh, in the course design, uh, we just treat only Python uh, because the mixture of programming language uh, is confusing for the beginners. So, uh, Difficulty is we cannot treat web because it uses HTML and so on. So only Python, we cannot design the uh, cl class with uh, treating web. And uh, we use uh, the idle as ID uh, it, because it is just easy to teach. And uh, from here, key points of course, contents and textbook. Can you read symbol aloud? 
many students cannot read the asterisk <laughs> aloud. So we teach it. Because it uh, makes the uh, oral communication often fails between the uh, instructors and uh, learners. Quite a simple one, but very important. And next one is X equal X plus one. Maybe you just think, oh, increment X, okay? But the students understand this is equation. <laughs> Try to solve. <laughs> so key point is the connection to the mathematics. Uh, this is a common background of first year student university. So students tend to x equal x plus one as equation, try to solve and found it is impossible. <laughs> but a good point is they are quite familiar with about the using x as variable, x, y, z, and a and b. So in teaching, uh, we explain it is not equation. <laughs> This is just the evaluation and the assignment operation. And also we ask to use X, Y, A first, only single letters, uh, variables. Then, although you can use uh, the longer uh, identifier, and, and then connecting to the coding convention. For you is another <laughs> issue. Uh, most of the university students understand uh, the pronoun for in the, as an example for you. But the we teach is for I in range 10. What's for I? <laughs> <laughs> so we have to explain and ask students to read the statement in English or Japanese, like this example. Next topic is use first. Before writing definition, we ask our student to understand the concept of functions and the class objects through its usage. Uh, the, <coughs> uh, the middle uh, item is interesting. Uh, without understanding of class concept, it is difficult to write a class. I, uh, uh, engineer in a small company sent me, for low level programmer, uh, the he or, or she, all he or she should know about class is new, <laughs> just new. <laughs> and uh, uh, he or she never asked to design class, okay? So the, to use class, it should be fast before uh, teaching its definition. And also the function, uh, you have so many use, use cases like this one, uh, no argument, no return, or uh, the argument, uh, have argument, but no uh, return value, and so on. So this case should be teach because, and we use the turtle graphics uh, to teach the function use case and uh, use, use experience of the uh, classes. Next one is error is matter. But if you take this book, help learners. <laughs> so debugging is the inverse problem in the system uh, science uh, community. For if you code and you can guess the uh, result, it's rather easy. But if you encounter the uh, uh, error, you have to find the bug. This is quite difficult. Uh, like uh, the, how say, the <coughs> thinking process of uh, Sherlock Holmes. Okay. So, we ask the student, experience of errors. Debugging is difficult, especially for novices. And uh, their response is twofold. One is they don't want to read their error messages. <laughs> okay. Another response is they stop learning rather than try debugging. So our approach is 
explicitly show typical errors, show errors, and ask students to try to make errors. And a uh, few textbooks to read it. <laughs> so no error is easy way to understand error message. We already know the error. So we can understand the response of language processors. And the student will understand debugging is common, <laughs> okay? Common things. Uh, in the classroom, I, I make so many uh, uh, mistakes. And the student will have sets of experience of knowledge, knowing bugs and their consequence. So it is helpful for making their own program. Next one is the Kyoto and the cards. So for the uh, novices, nesting the four loops is, seems really difficult. And uh, for example, make a table, uh, just an, uh, the number table is uh, boring. So we use uh, to make the cross-section, uh, intersection of Kyoto. Shijo Kawaramachi or Karasuma, Sanjo Karasuma. And in the classroom, I said, you are happy to be Kyoto University. In University of Tokyo, we cannot use. <laughs> in Univ uh, Hokkaido University, it's boring. <laughs> in Osaka University, it located suburb area, not, not inside the city. And also, the, we also, also give the uh, example using the making deck of play cards. It is very interesting uh, because if student give this uh, example, student want to make games <laughs> and notice with a PC, some games is possible, so, solitaire type of game is possible. But uh, to play poker only with one PC is difficult because each player have secret. So we have to connect PCs via network or other uh, framework. And we also use the graphic topics. First, uh, uh, we use the title graphic to visualize the behavior of program and to know usage of function and class. And in, in Python title module, we can make various, uh, not one, but to, to, uh, the several titles on at the same time. So it's a good way to know the concept of the class. And it's fun. And uh, uh, also we want to connect to the experience. Some students have the experience of scratch. So go, cat go around, <laughs> okay? And then, this picture is, uh, how say, recursive call uh, example. Uh, three like uh, the <coughs> figures. And also we proceed to the GUI with TK Inter to un understand the event driven program quite different uh, way of thinking we need and enable student to make window application. So it is satisfaction for satisfaction and the confidence. And uh, have experience using class object to treat files without treating a messy file path. So file chooser, we teach the file chooser to treat the file. And we use the example of analog clock because it gives the hint to make a game, okay? And also the use spreadsheet via CSV format file or unmat prototype to, be, uh, to proto data for academic purpose. Uh, this is an example of the Fourier uh, series. Because, uh, it is because, because uh, they are so beautiful. <laughs> and show process of design, implementation, and tests. And I observed uh, in my laboratory, even after learning programming language elements, students, uh, feel difficulty in making a new program, even about uh, the 100 lines. Uh, I also often say that skill of using saw and hammer 
don't mean the learner can construct the house. He has to learn a way of construct the house. Okay? So uh, we use uh, the tic-tac-toe, quite simple game. And as an example, we walk through the process of design. What should be variable? What should be the function? Okay? Then implement. And uh, you need to test uh, from the unit test to combine all the program into one. And this is uh, also give a guide to students their own project. And uh, I touch a little bit on the V model of the software development. Next topic is uh, the presentation of the textbook. Why did we take uh, book style? Uh, because we are familiar. <laughs> just, it's just a re uh, reason. And uh, quite portable, so many people download and use. And to, so it is easy to deliver readable, printable, shareable with common environment. And uh, uh, typesetting is quite annoying. But uh, we, fortunately, we teach word uh, styles and template in the classroom. So I, I can write a template. And the, concerning the example course, we uh, use two uh, presentation. So interactive use with shell, uh, red, red color use code to type, blue is response. So you can uh, test a small code snippet interactively. But also the, we show the uh, executable complete source code that the student can easily try to execute in another way. And the modification of the we ask in the classroom as exercises. And uh, to help copy and paste, we use uh, this kind of character instead of uh, space. Because uh, the, uh, to show the depth of indent indentation is quite important in Python, is one. Another one is uh, PDF. Series of space come into one. <laughs> so uh, copy paste is very annoying. And so for this purpose, we develop uh, with the help of the uh, Kyoto Municipal University of Art, uh, professor of Kyoto University of Municipal Art, uh, we designed a uh, font for education. Uh, visualize the difference between half with Husky characters and full with Kanji characters, half with the space symbols uh, to show indentation, and emphasize the difference of similar characteristics, for example, the period and the comma, because uh, instructor for my age <laughs> to, to see student, student screen is quite, quite difficult, <laughs> okay? And uh, so this font is uh, used for typesetting, and, and also we ask you students to use this font for programming. Uh, so the IPA uh, Gothic font is the best font uh, we use. And uh, maybe you see the left one, uh, no, no problem, but the, uh, the to, not a two point zero, two comma zero, <laughs> and so on. So the four is uh, for with these characters. It gives under bar in my our font and so on. Oh, and then the for with space is also visualized. And uh, we uh, wrote se several topics, related topics as uh, columns. And uh, teachers like this. this this edition, uh, starting from zero. Why float means? <laughs> what, what floating? <laughs> okay. uh, floating point number. And the Newton method and for numerical uh, calculation, uh, relative accuracy, uh, parameter arguments, scope of variables, random numbers, recursion, GUI programming, in, and Japanese, especially the Japanese character problem. Uh, Japanese code problem. And the namespace, documentation, and uh, trigonometric function, and uh, difference and duplication, 
personalification, personification, and escaping. Escaping is escape sequence. Okay. Now, this topic is uh, interesting, not only students, rather uh, instructors. So, uh, we come to the final part, remaining issue. So, our problem is uh, Python have quite wide application areas. We can not teach in the classroom. And uh, what should be learned depend, really depend on the students' needs. So, so how, how can we connect the learn to them is uh, the problem we are encountering. And the programming process and the behavior program, both are dynamic. So the static presentation as a textbook have limitation. So in the classroom, we also use a video, my video lecture. And many people are in the professional lands about the programming online courses, MOOC or the uh, just the video uh, on the YouTube. So dynamic process, we, we have to think about that. An emerging issue, you know, the gen generative AI, like chat GPT. And the uh, te textbook 203 is now available. Several, uh, the, several days ago, the uh, university library told me that it is listed in the, the, our uh, repository. We, uh, you can access two to three edition. Uh, this is uh, the reserved word of Python in the cover page. And the, from the 2021, we add new uh, words in this chart. And the, the, now K2PFE font is also the, you, uh, uh, the included you can use. And uh, <coughs> so the, uh, to memorize uh, this URL may be difficult. So you can search Kyoto University, Python 2023. I think you will find. So finally, uh, I, uh, my friends uh, says, any products are hearty gift from the producer who can make to consumers who need but cannot make. They uh, charge for uh, free. Uh, any produ product is just a gift. So we want to write a textbook as such a gift to students who take our course and to, to their friends. Uh, they want to share their learning and many people. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Thank you very much for your great presentation. Uh, I believe we have a few minutes for questions, if anybody has any. And you can ask in either Japanese or English. あ、uh, so the uh, Kyoto University is known as a prestigious university gathering excellent students. But even Kyoto University, we should teach for you. <laughs> we should teach X equals X plus one. <laughs> because, uh, this is because uh, the uh, students experience quite few in the program, even Kyoto University. But they can quickly catch up if they taught. Okay. Thank you very much.
Uh, it's a great, uh, very, very enlightening talk. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Yong Yu, and I'm also teaching in uh, teaching programming in the university. So my first reaction to this is that how you get, how you conduct examination. But that's not actually not my question. Uh, I. I I know that uh, as instructors that uh, we care a lot about our students and I, I'm wondering that uh, what are the outlooks that uh, you are projecting the perspectives to your students like after they pass the course or even graduate with the, the basic training that you deliver? What would be the outlook? Uh, so the, we don't, I don't teach in the classroom. <laughs> Uh, because uh, the, we, t we take the flipped classroom style. So the, what we want to teach is all in the textbook. So the, we ask students to read and uh, ask the homework uh, just to type the code and execute it. In the classroom, we ask students to modify uh, along my requirement. We can support. This is our flipped classroom style. So, uh, can, is it okay? Yeah, what, what about the future? Future? And after they pass or uh, even graduate with the training you give it? Future? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I ask because I'm actually also an engineer, so that I care a lot about how people are get trained. Uh -huh. In the schools, so that uh, yeah, but maybe we can take it offline. Uh, yeah. the difficult question. The, the, I mainly teach the first year student, so the after that uh, we cannot uh, trace their future. So the uh, it's real in the university. It's really difficult. Uh, if we teach the computer science uh, department, we can, but the, the, I teach it in the general education program. So it is uh, something sad for me because uh, I don't know the student's future. I'm sure under your training, they will be very good. Thank you very much. あ、素晴らしい教科書の内容とその背景にある考え方が参考になりました。ありがとうございます。で、あのいわゆるソフトウェアテストのトピックをどう扱っているのかなと思ってご質問し,しています。あのテストっていうトピックはなかったように思うんですけれども、学生の人が自分が書いたプログラムをどういうふうに動作確認するとか、間違いどうやって見つけるみたいなところをどう取り扱っているのか、えー、もしあれば教えていただきたいと思いました。はい、えー、っと。So, uh, the, in the tic-tac-toe example, uh, in the source code, we include also the test code. Uh, because we, want to, we don't want to use another tools, so we put all the things into one source code. Uh, so you, you need to test code in the source code given to the student. So the student can try the uh, test by themselves. Thank you. えー、と Python の良さの一つにですねそのあまりプログラミングを知らなくても業務を知っていれば問題意識があればですねいろんなコードを見たりとかこう自分でやっていけるというでそういう方向にですね習った生徒さんは行くんですかね PC も使わないような方が本当にそういう、まあ、本当はそっちの方に行ってほしいんですけどそういう動きはありますかえっとあ最初に日本語で答えますね難しい<笑>あの先ほどのご質問にもありましたけど僕が教えてるのは主に1年生なので彼らの将来をトレースすることがトラックすることがすごく難しくてよく分かりませんっていうのが最初のクエスチョンあ多分英語に翻訳されてますよねいや、えー、とみんな持ってないですよこの技術はあ持ってないのね英語ですみませんはいえっ、ー、とそうあーで First of all,、uh, the, I mainly teach the first year students of many schools, including the humanity and the social science. So、uh, I cannot trace 
and uh, their second year and so on. So it is a very difficult question. But the, the, I put uh, the stress on the, not the programming language, languages too, but the, the background concept. Why we do this thing? What is the design and what is the, the implementation? What is the test? What's the framework and the library? Framework and the concept of the event-driven programming. And we uh, ask students to division of user interface in the front and the model of the computation in the backyard. So they have say, uh, <coughs> showing their uh, design pattern. So I hope students get the key concept behind the programming. Oh, so thanks for talk. It's really good education talk. Always good to see that in PyCon. Uh, so I checked the table of content of this book and also checked the course content. I found out that like, uh, the course put quite a lot of effort on the GUI uh -huh. and the, 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 the turtle things. And uh, I also check the book contains a little bit scientific part, the NumPy yeah, yeah. things. So I wonder, like, uh, how do you select the content for the student to learn, and why do you pick uh, focus a bit more focus on the graphic part? Okay, the so the actually in the classroom, uh, we put the stress not all in the text book. For example, uh, the, we, direct, we don't directly teach the function and the class. We ask students to have the experience through the programming of turtle graphics and GUI callback function. And the, uh, for example, the, so the, for the class, uh, students interested in the class in their uh, say, project of, uh, in the final project, students can learn. But the, the, uh, we don't have enough time, class hours to teach all, all the things. And the, uh, the, uh, I pick up, uh, uh, based on the, this, uh, uh, the items. So attract student to attention, attract as uh, relevant to the first year student, uh, connecting to the, their knowledge about uh, especially mathematics and the uh, confidence uh, through the uh, weekly assignment and also the three uh, project and the uh, satisfaction is also that. So the for example, Uh, in the middle uh, and in the top, you see the fractal uh, fi uh, figures. This is uh, the example of recursion in the programming world, but uh, the, in the scientific, science and mathematics world, it's a fractal. So it uh, inspires students uh, because it looks like tree and uh, very uh, organic. And the second part, uh, analog clock, we pick up this item because the clock should count the time, uh, in, in not uh, independently from the, I'll say, event loop. This is a hint for making game, graphical game. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, understandable is because your target is mathematics students, so contents should be something more relevant to them, right? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, any, any other questions? Yes. Hello, thank you for your talk. Um, I have also taught first year students and I was interested in your graph that had the pass fail rates uh, and I'm wondering Curious to know why do you think the why do you think it went up and down? What 
what changes do you think that you made that caused those um, students to pass or fail? Uh, so the pass or fail, I don't have uh, the uh, table here. Uh, pass rate, not to depend on the, their schools. So the, uh, even in the social science and humanities school students, uh, pass rate is quite the same with the student in the engineering and the student in the science. But it really depends on the grade. Grade means first year students in 2021, uh, the pass rate of first year student is 58%. First rate of the second year and after, uh, it get down to 60, and graduate school 50. <laughs> it really depends on the, how serious students engage themselves into the class. Uh, if they spend sufficient uh, adequate time for our class, student pass, because uh, the, we are, uh, every week, we give the assignment, two assignment, assignment in the class, assignment in as a homework, and we had a grade within the week and give comments, each, give each student comments. So their engagement is uh, important matter. Thank you. Uh, we have maybe time for one more question, and for everybody who is worried about the time, um, the, yeah, we, the keynote started a bit late, so every, the whole schedule in the morning is shifted a little bit, so don't worry. Hi, thank you very much for the talk. I was just curious to know, do you have any plans to have a English language version of the textbook in the future? Uh, pardon me, once again, please. Once again, question once again. これから英語、えっと、その、えー、テクスト book の英語版でも作れますか should I already uh, make an English textbook? But uh, I don't teach English uh, course. Ah, uh, okay. Sure. Uh, be because the, uh, currently, uh, before many international students come to my class, but uh, two years ago, uh, we started the course held in English separately by the international instructors. So I myself don't teach in English, but the, the, uh, so many uh, the international students go to university, so we translate. Uh, thank you. Okay, uh, maybe one more quick question. ありがとうございます。あの、とてもあの、もともと専攻コンピューターサイエンスじゃなかったんですけど、大学の授業とかを通して、ま、今日も持ち始めて、現在はソフトウェアエンジニアとして働いております。で、そこで質問なんですけど
through the experience of the computer programming. So I try to teach as much students as possible. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Okay, and with this, uh, yeah, uh, it's the end of the keynote. And as I just mentioned, there's a slight change to the schedule. So, tracks one to four will, the next talk will start at 11.55. And track five is no change. Um, but yeah, uh, again, thank you very much, uh, Kita-sensei. Thank you very much.